Hey dolls, today I'm going to show you how I did my first successful braid out. My hair has already been shampooed and deep conditioned. The products I'm using is Cantu Curl Activating Cream and Kiss Edge Control and of course water. I'm going to start this process by removing the braids from my hair. I'm not going to take out all of them just like the first three or four just so that I can get my parts in good and part my hair the way that I want to so that I can style my hair the way that I want to. Just removing all of those braids so that my hair can be good and ready to be parted in the sections that I would like to part them in. Next, I'm going to part my hair and put away the section that I don't need and I'll come back to that later. After I section my hair, I'm going to comb it out, put that section away, spray my hair with water, and then begin to detangle my hair just to make sure that all of the tangles are out before adding the product into my hair because I don't want to add product onto tangled hair. I'm going to go in with my curl activator cream, put a little on my hand there and rake it through my hair. After adding the product, I'm going to go in with the comb just to make sure that the product is distrib distributed evenly <laughs> and throughout my whole entire hair. And after that, I'm going to go in with my brush just again to make sure that everything is slicked back and laid because I don't want to have any bumps or lumps in my braid. And then I'm going to go back in with that braid and braid my hair in a smaller section from what it was in the beginning of the video. I'm going to repeat these steps throughout my whole entire head until my whole head is fully braided, fully rebraided in smaller sections. After I braid my hair, I'm going to twist my finger at the twist my hair at the bottom and it looks like that. This is me continuing to braid my hair. Again, doing the same steps, water first, curl activator by Cantu, and following up with braiding my hair and twisting it at the end so that it's not snagged or anything like that. Finally, I'm at the top of my head. My braids look really, really nice. They're so clean, so curly at the end. I'm going to use my rubber bands to put rubber bands at the top of my hair. So I'm going to part my hair the best way I can um, into fours, first parting it in halves and then going in and parting my hair um, again in a smaller section gonna wet my hair again so my hair can be moisturized before putting the curl activator cream in I'm going to deep I'm sorry detangle my hair so that everything is nice and smooth and clean and detangled again going in with that brush so that everything is slick because I want my ponytails my small mini ponies to be nice and slick and my hair I'm going to add a little bit of edge control, slicking down my edges to the best of their ability because they I don't want flyaways. I don't like flyaways. This is not my thing. <laughs> I'm going in with that curl activator cream so that um, my hair is nice and moisturized. Next, I'm going to add a rubber band to that section and move on to the next section. I am going to part my hair down the middle and make sure that my parts are as even as I possibly can. I'm gonna clip it away and I'm going to put um, water on that section of my hair and then add the curl activator cream. Um, add a little bit of edge control and then I'm going to slick everything back 
so that everything's nice and clean and then put my rubber band on it and then I'm going to move on to the next section. And in this section, I'm going to make a crisscross. I'm gonna take the first half, clean it up, make it all nice and smooth, and add it to the back half and put a rubber band on it and do the exact same thing to the next section so that it looks like an X and it looks pretty much like that. If you can see that, yep, you can see. Then I'm gonna take that section and I'm gonna braid it um, smooth it down and then braid it so that my whole head is fully braided like so. After this, I'm going to add, put um, slick my edges down, make sure everything's nice and clean, wrap my hair, and then when I wake up, it looks like that. From here, I'm going to take my hair down using some oil to put on my hands because we don't touch our hands without oil. Adding that oil on my hair, I'm going to take it and put it up just a little bit and start to remove the braids. And once I remove my braids, I'm also going to um, separate my hair at the same time while I'm removing my braids. Like I'm going to take down each braid and separate each section instead of taking down the whole head and then going back in to section my hair. I'm just gonna do this as quickly as possible because I'm actually on my way to work best day so <laughs> I had to make sure I got that done as quickly as possible but also um, as carefully as possible the video makes it look like I'm going like super super fast but in actuality I'm actually taking my time because I don't want to cause any unnecessary frizz and I don't want my hair to be looking a hot mess in these streets so I'm definitely taking my time even though it doesn't look like it by taking out those braids and separating my hair This is the final result of my hair. I'm just gonna fluff it just a little bit to give myself some volume and I am ready to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my page and follow me on Instagram.